So the one I wanted to share with you today uh, very quickly is called Chatpad AI. So as you can see here, um, free and open source, privacy focused, no tracking, no cookies, none of the information that you type in here uh, will be synced across to any other devices. There is no account where your chats are being synced across to the other devices. It's not keeping a history in the cloud. Anything you type in, any of your chats are going to remain in your machine, uh, your device uh, only. If you opened up a session, even with the same API key on a different device, different computer, you won't see any of these chats. As you can see here uh, under this database section, uh, right now I've got nothing here, but I could export the data and then I could import that same data into another device if I wanted to kind of manually sync it myself. Essentially, you're in full control of your data here. Yes, you are transmitting and receiving information with OpenAI, but you're not, you're, you're, your chats are not being stored um, in a account that is, um, I suppose, tied to you, although it somewhat is because there is an API key. So as you can see here in the settings, this is where you would type in your, uh, your API key. Uh, if you don't know how to get an OpenAI key, you can just click on this link here. Essentially, it'll just open up your OpenAI account. You will have to have a credit card on file. Uh, and then once you just enter that in, you will then be able to uh, create an API key, which you can paste here. And then once you do that, you can uh, start using this service. By default, it, it goes to GPT uh, 3.5 Turbo. And my understanding is right now, unless you're unless you're like not developing an app or you're or you're not actually creating something kind of unique uh, where you would need GPT 4, OpenAI isn't releasing that uh, via their API right now. But that's okay. Uh, GPT 3.5 uh, GPT is still very capable. One one of the cool things that um, you can have here is a desktop app. And I'm going to open up the uh, Chatpad AI uh, desktop app that I have here. So this is kind of nice. I, I actually do prefer desktop apps. It does make it a lot useful. Uh, for me, it makes it useful. I don't have to keep opening a browser. Uh, also, one thing that's very cool about uh, Chatpad AI is that uh, there's a prompts section here and you can actually save prompts. So there are many websites um, where you can uh, somewhat copy people's uh, prompts. People are sharing their prompts um, for, for ChatGPT and you can find ones that uh, work really well and you can save them here um, by coming over here to clicking new prompt, giving it a title and putting in the prompt content. Now I have a few that I've already saved here. So uh, for example, I'll click on this one, a YouTube video description prompt. And here is what you would start off the conversation with. And what it basically allows you to do is kind of bookmark these prompts. So in the future, uh, let's just say I need this one. I just hit this play button and it already start, uh, populates the chat for me with whatever the prompt is. And then uh, now I can start typing and, you know, uh, getting on with this conversation. It also does support light and dark mode, ooh, as you can tell. The, the one thing you have to do remember is that because you're using the API, uh, you are paying. So if you think about it in one way, what you're able to kind of do here is have a pay-per-use ChatGPT account. You may not want to pay $20 a month for a ChatGPT account, but at the same time, maybe the free version is not always available or not very convenient for you uh, for some reason. Uh, I, I know that there were a lot of issues with the free one at the very beginning with regards to congestion and all that. We'll see how long OpenAI allows the uh, free version to exist. Uh, I can't imagine it would be free forever, but if you want a, a version of ChatGPT where it's more of a paper use, where you use it once in a while and you don't mind paying a little bit to make sure it's always available when you need it, then something like this would be pretty handy for you. So I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, it's called Chatpad AI. Uh, definitely do check it out. Uh, you can go to their GitHub uh, if you want more information or their website. And uh, either way, uh, this seems to be pretty interesting and uh, something that you can even self-host. You can use the chatpad.ai website. You, and if you, put in, if you put in your API key here, uh, when you save it, it's not actually uploading this API key to chatpad.ai's website. This API key that you put in here is being stored locally on your machine only. However, if you don't even wanna trust Chatpad AI, you don't have to. You can easily self-host a Chatpad AI session of your own. 
um, and then you know 100% that you know, it, the data is remaining with you. You can use Docker for that. Just you know, different ways to play around with ChatGPT and different interfaces. And sometimes we get to see something cool and maybe those features will get uh, put into the main client, maybe not. Either way, you have some optionality on how you interact with ChatGPT.